Hey guys, Dusty here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to install the Ultra Hardcore mod for your single player and for a server if you want to host the server with it. So first thing you need is this this file here. You get it at the the mod page. I'll put a download. I mean, I'll put a link to the thread. And if you want your server. You're gonna need the Minecraft server.jar, which is at Minecraft.net. So yeah, um, what you what you do first is you go here and type in percent app data percent. Open it up and then go into dot Minecraft. Go into bin and you find the one that just says Minecraft or Minecraft.jar if you have the if you have that setting where the things up on the end, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, just go into your normal Minecraft, not Minecraft, any of these, and you'll get this. So, what you do is you just drag that up to the side, minimize that, and then you open this up. So, you open it up with 7zip or I don't know, WinRAR if, you, if you're using that. I'm using 7zip, so here we go, and we put these both to each side. You open up this, and then you have two folders here. And this one is SMP. You see right here. So you want you don't want SMP. You want SSP. That's the one that's going into your single player. So you drag all of this, and you just highlight it all, and drag it into here. Press yes. And I already deleted my meta inf, meta inf. So if you see that, you have to delete that. It's just meta inf. You just delete the whole folder. And that's how to install for the single player so I'm gonna test it out okay so it seems to work I'm just gonna show you the proof by just placing some blocks down and jumping off of them and I don't regenerate any health so single player worked if you're just planning on playing single player then that's all you need but if you want to host your own server then you need to you need to hear the rest of this tutorial Okay, so this is the part where I show you how to make the server work. What you're going to need is you're going to need a new folder. Um, I'm going to call this one Tutorial Server. Sure, whatever. Tutorial Server Hardcore. Now, you just place this Minecraft server.jar into there. Not, don't use the exe if you want to install mods. And, okay, there we go. So we have this here. Now, Oh, people try to open this with Java, but that just sort of crashes the whole thing. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need um, a new, just create a new Notepad or text document. I don't know. There we go. So we have a new text document, and you're gonna need to put this one code into here. And I forgot what the code was, so I'll be right back. And yeah. Okay. So sorry for this part. You're gonna need um, a notepad thing. And you're gonna have to copy in this code here, and I'm gonna put it in the description so you can just copy and paste it yourself. And also put other links in in the description. But you just do this, and then go to exit off, and save, and you save it to your desktop to your tutorial hardcore server what, or whatever you named your folder you save it to there and you call it uh... Whatever. one second okay sorry i totally forgot what to save it as but you have to save you have to save it as what the heck you have to save it as start server dot bat or that's bet this is bet so it's server Dot bat. You save it to there, and then you get this. And you, you don't want to click on that yet. You want to go here, and you open this with 7-zip, WinRAR, or whatever. So now you got this. Put it over to the side, same as the one that you did. You open up this one again. If you haven't closed, if you close it, then you go here, and the SMP one that I accidentally clicked earlier. Well, you go into that one, and you drag everything in here into there. And yes, I do want to copy it to there. There we go. And now afterwards, I 
totally finished, you just double click this, and it's going to take up this and also this, and it's going to prepare spawn and do all that. So I'm going to go see if it works. I already have my IP and stuff already. So to get the IP, it's different for everyone's computer. You're going to have to find that out yourself. I'm not going to do a tutorial on that because it's a little bit hard. I don't know. I'm sure there's tutorials out there to show you how. So you start a Minecraft. I just did that. Go to multiplayer. My server is right here. I join the server. And it looks like it worked because I'm already. See those hardcore hearts down there? Let me just try to take some damage or something. I have too many items installed also, so I can just give myself. Actually, I can't because I'm not opt. I just opt myself. Here. There we go. Now I'm now opt, so I can give myself a bunch of whatever I need. And I can make a giant spire and fall off. And not regenerate any health. So I hope this tutorial helped. Please like, comment, subscribe, and whatever you feel like. And I'll see you next time. See you guys later.